I hope. I hope. It's off to hike I go. I hope. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. It's off to hike I go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. Alrighty, all the waterfall pictures have been taken. This is Janet, who is completing section E this year. She's taken nine nights to go uh, from Owen Creek uh, to Signal Mountain Trailhead in Jasper there. She's 70 years old. Get out there, folks. She's out here doing this by herself. So impressive. Only thing holding yourself back is you. Just making our way up to Owen Pass. Owen Pass is like one of those paths you think about when you think about the moon or Mars. There's tiny little plants up here, barely clinging to life, and nothing but rocks as far as the eye can see. So, this is just where life can't survive, long term at least. We come up here temporarily for thrills. Eight waterfalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine or ten. Ten waterfalls. Owen Pass is a big open wide pass, but probably to do with the smoke that came in this morning. Not much of a view looking uh, south. There's our last glance at the highest point on the Great Divide Trail. Ten waterfalls home so down uh, about two and a half kilo two kilometers or so past the uh, pass it's been a little annoying at certain parts so far but we found a trail up on this bench here and we'll see how long this lasts before we start to have to figure out things I know there's a little bit of minor rock climbing and possibly some creek walking. You can just see sort of that's just how how both sides of this creek come down at it. It's not a easy place to walk everywhere. So we'll figure it out as we go here. Owen Creek special. Trail runs along climbers right, uh, descenders left for most of the creek. So far been minor washouts walking on this silty up and down. So far I give it a four on the difficulty scale. Not too bad. Oh yeah. Alrighty, we've reached Owen Creek Campground. Um, not much, but not bad either. A couple places to sit down, nice big fire ring, flat areas, put up with a couple tents. And apparently it's from here for the next two and a half, three, that's really bad. So we'll see how it gets. section of Owen Creek's tough. Not like kind of a 10 tough, but there's some points where it's hitting like a seven. Unfortunately, Jade's poles don't work. So I gave her one of mine, took one of hers. They're both at one and a half poles. I think it goes here and skips over the bench here. I don't think it goes all the way down to the creek again. Let's find out. So we're at the poor trail part where they got some ropes put up, but it doesn't even look that bad. I don't even know if I'll be using the ropes at all. Just hold on to that root, Jade, and that root will take care of you.
Had a little bit of a break. Now uh, heading down the last four and a bit K to the trailhead. This part is flatter and appears to be better trail overall, which is good. So hopefully make some decent time. Get back to still good old civilization. I have now completed section E of the Great Divide Trail in Jasper National Park. So this is where I camped seven years ago. Nice little camp spot. We got something under 4K left to do here to finish off the day. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Way up above the river. Alrighty, in the home stretch here, about a kilometer left to go. Just walking inside the canyon. And then down to the creek outlet, and we're there, so. Good day. Jay's just doing the last little bit of elevation, and then we got 200 meters to the highway. Well, we started two days ago at Sunset Pass. Did something like 14 and a half to Pinto Lake. Had a great night with some cool people. Um, had some steaks. And then uh, took on a really big day the next day. The next day was up and over Pinto Pass and then down to, uh, then up to the Great Divide's highest point. That was a hard day. So, gone to camp late. Honestly, just fiddled around for a little bit before we uh, got into our tents and went to sleep last night. This morning, uh, nice cruise up to uh, Owen Pass. Owen Pass, nice and wide. And then down Owen Creek. And I tell you, it, it just takes some time. It's nothing that's too dangerous. As long as you know what you're doing, some basic rock climbing skills, you'll be good. And I hear my two companions from this hike, the awesome alley. Hi. Oh, high five. Well, I gotta finish the hike. We